Hey guys, this is Habit Gobel here, and today we will be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, before we get started, this game is not suitable for kids, so we will be playing through it, and, uh, yeah, just, if you're under the age of 13 or something, you shouldn't watch. Alright, so getting right into the game. Uh, individual suffering, blah, 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 blah. These are just warnings. I agree. Alright, so this is basically sort of like a dating game, in a way. So, I'm going to start a new game. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friends since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it's just kind of works because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more <laughs> and more frequently. And I would get tired of wait, waiting up. But if she go, if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha ha! It was slipped again, <laughs> but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because it decided to stop and wait for you. You see that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Oh no. That's Juicy's pose. He's like, am I retarded? That's that right there. <laughs> am I retarded? <laughs> that means, Owen, oh, well if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're couplers. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hehehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become interestingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Owen, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join the club this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that voice for her. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that they did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever I she's going on about. Sorry, Sayori uh, likes to worry a bit too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. <laughs> I was talking about how I wanted. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or having skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Shit. And I know you're happy now, but I. I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'm out. Oh, that's me. Sorry, I can't read. I'll look into a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least keep a promise that you'll try a little? Yes, I guess I promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? 
Uh, I believe I'm going to be splitting this series into a couple parts. So. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, I just want to sort of skip sort of that. Yeah, cool. Um, in the classroom. Uh, school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? Siri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Siri! Siri must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Oof. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. That's happened to me before. I've once... I've once fell asleep in a classroom and woke up after the bell rang. They had to wake me up to get me out of class. <laughs> it was just wow. Well. Uh, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. You know what? Well, that you would come to my club. Sayori. Yay! There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> That's juicy. <laughs> don't dwell on me, Justo. I don't want to be dwelled. Molly, am I retarded? Am I retarded? <laughs> am I retarded? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Siri is the vice president at the literature club. Huh? Oof. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Wow. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh, fuck you, Sayori. And <laughs> not Suki me cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning. As to have planned all this out. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for cupcake. Okay. <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> Alright. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Oof. Alright, Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Oh. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the. Oh. Girl one, okay? Welcome to the little. No, no. <coughs> I don't have any good falsettos. I like lost my voice up there. Welcome to the literature club. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it in my normal voice. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sayori so always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Oh no. Way to kill the atmosphere. It's her. I forgot what her name is, but I know she does something devilish at the end. Ah, Owen, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tatsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki. The one is the one I don't recognize. Skr, skr, skr. Uh, her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Ooh. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. I want some cupcakes. I had cupcakes earlier today. It's my brother's birthday, by the way. Actually, my brother's birthday was five and a half hours ago, so... You can just ignore when she gets moody. Uh, Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls again. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. <laughs> and this is Yuri, the, small, the smartest in the club. Okay. So, Natsuki is full of energy, and Yuri is the smartest. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Crippling depressions! <laughs> Ah, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. Cool. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. I do not know who Monica is. It's great to see you again, Owen. When did I meet Monica? Uh, that's a, that's a grin of devil. That's the grin of the devil. Uh, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, okay. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Okay. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generally feels a little... You, you too, Monica? Come sit down, Owen. We made room for you at the table. So uh, you can sit next to me or Monica. <laughs> I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? Alright, so Yuri's making tea, and Natsuki is getting the cupcakes. Alright. Uh, they have a few desks arranged to form a table. Uh, as Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki gets a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Uh, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Okay, are you ready? No. <laughs> the whiskers are... <laughs> She made cupcakes that look like cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. <sighs> oh no. I had no idea you were so good at baking. <laughs> well, you know, uh, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one and the Monica I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full <laughs> and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. <laughs> it's just like, pretend this is a cupcake. Pretend this is a cupcake. It's like, this is the bottom part. Oh, I don't know where to eat my cupcake from. Eh, no. Eh, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Alright. Natsuki's quiet. Oh no, she has a crush. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Of course she did. This is really good. This is really good. Mm. Quality. That's quality. Uh, thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before. Where did I hear this? Made them for you or anything. Uh, 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 uh. I thought you technically did. 
serious. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> She's blushing. She's blushing. Look at that blush. Look at that blush. But not for y you, you know. You, dummy. Alright, alright. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Uh, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Oh, gosh. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We good. We Gucci. We Gucci. We Gucci. I'm trying to get a cat game. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Oof. I guess. I'm not the best. I'm not the biggest fan of book reading. Uh, eh <laughs> Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Okay. Uh, that that's not. <laughs> They're all trying to blush. <laughs> and then Monica's got a secret plan. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Uh, well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Uh, Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Oof. Uh, Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. It's just like, like. <laughs> so, what made you consider the literature club? my neighbor I was afraid of this question something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by sale well I haven't joined any clubs yet and Siri seemed really happy here so that's okay don't be embarrassed uh -huh. uh, we'll make sure you feel right at home okay president of the literature club it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone monica i'm super honest. uh how come you decided to start your own club you could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs weren't you a leader of the debate club last year uh she was to be honest i can't stand all the politics around the major clubs I can't stand Trump, so we got we got a common sim sim similarity right here. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it can encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Okay. <laughs> uh, Monica really is a great leader. Okay, okay. Uh, Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It, it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Uh, not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, the, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're in both fun and worthwhile. Right. But it makes school events like the festival that's much more important. Okay. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Alright, alright. That's actually a really good goal. That is a really good goal. Gucci goal. Uh, right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do the best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have, been, Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Uh, maybe that's why they were so also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Okay. Uh, though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm in literature. Uh, 
So, Owen, what kind of things do you have, like to read? Alright, guys, I'm going to leave off there, and um, I, hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and I hope you guys have a great day. Hit the notifications bell, and please tell me if you want to see more of this, if you want me to finish the game. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, I